Somali elephant shrew, also called Sengus, the Somali elephant shrew, Elephantulus revoili, was last scientifically recorded in the 1970s. The Somali sengi is an odd mashup of creatures. While its body is the size and shape similar to a mouse, its legs are slender and gazelle-like, allowing it to sprint across rocks at rapid speed. It also has a trunk-like nose, similar to that of the elephant, which they use to suck up ants. The aardvarks, elephants, and manatees are some of the Somali Sengi's closest living relatives. While the locals never considered it to be extinct, the last known scientific record dates back to the 1970s. In 2019, an expedition to the Horn of Africa was attended by Stephen Heritage, a research scientist at the Duke University Lemur Center, and his colleague Galen Rathbun, a vertebrae behavioral ecologist from the California Academy of Sciences, together with Djibouti ecologist Hussein Rayale and local scientist Jama Awale, led to the rediscovery of the once lost species. The researchers set more than 1,000 traps consisting of a mixture of peanut butter, oatmeal, and yeast as bait in 12 locations. They were able to spot 12 sengis on their two-week expedition and obtain live scientific documentation. Chapman's pygmy chameleon, the Chapman's pygmy chameleon, Ramfolian chapmanorum, which grows to approximately 5.5 centimeters, was first detected in 1992 and was not seen in the wild again until 2016. Researchers from the South African National Biodiversity Institute and the Museums of Malawi were able to locate the chameleon in the rainforest. Over the last 40 years, an estimated 80% of the rainforests of Malawi Hills, where the chameleons live, have been destroyed, mostly for agricultural purposes. The chameleon is critically endangered, and the remaining populations are isolated, putting genetic diversity at risk. The researchers are calling for more chameleon population surveys and monitoring, as well as conservation action to protect what remains of the chameleon's habitat. Black-browed babbler. The only specimen of the black-browed babbler, Malacacincla perspicillata, to be collected was between 1843 and 1848 by German naturalist Carl A. L. M. Schwanner. The specimen is currently displayed at the Naturalis Biodiversity Center in the Netherlands. It is considered the longest known missing period for any Asian species, being lost to science for 170 years. However, the unique bird has been detected in the forest of South Kalimantan, Indonesia, by two locals after frequent sightings. Photographs gathered from the sighting were then sent to ornithologists, who confirmed that it was indeed the black-browed babbler. The bird has a stout appearance with a relatively short tail and a robust bill. The upper parts were dark brown, while the underparts were grayish with fine white streaking up to the breast. The bird has a distinct facial appearance with the crown being chestnut brown and demarcated by a broad black eye stripe extending across the cheeks to the nape and neck sides. Sierra Leone Crab Since 1955, there have not been any sightings of this little colorful crab. In 2021, Pierre Mavogo Nadongo, a lecturer and researcher at the University of Douala in Cameroon, traveled to Sierra Leone, West Africa, to search for the crab. The expedition lasted for three weeks. He discovered six of the Sierra Leone crabs, Afrithelfusa leonensis, with the assistance of the neighborhood residents who helped with the search. The Sierra Leone crabs that were discovered lives inland in the holes of the rainforest ground away from water sources and have adapted to breathe air. Male Sierra Leone crabs have pinkish-purple claws and orange legs, while female crabs have purple bodies with orange-yellow legs. Quelacanth It was believed that the Quelacanth, Latimeria, perished 65 million years ago with the dinosaurs. However, the world was fascinated by this strange, lobe-finned fish when it was discovered in 1938 in South Africa, which sparked a discussion about how it fits into the development of terrestrial animals. Quilacanth and the closely related Indonesian quilacanth share several morphological traits unique to other species. The most noticeable aspect of the quilacanth is its pair of lobe fins, which protrude from its body-like legs and alternately move in a trotting horse-like rhythm. Other distinctive features include a hinged joint in the skull that enables the fish to open its mouth wide for large prey, an oil-filled tube called a notochord that serves as a backbone, thick scales found only on extinct fish, and an electrosensory rostral organ in its snout that is probably used to detect prey. Fernandina's giant tortoise. 
the Fernandina giant tortoise, Kelanoidus fantasticus, was last seen 112 years ago and was long believed to be extinct. The female giant tortoise was discovered in 2019 during an exploration led by animal planet host Forrest Galante, the Galapagos Conservancy, and the Galapagos National Park Directorate. A blood sample was sent to geneticists at Yale University. A team led by Dr. Gisela Kakone sought to understand the genetic origin of the female tortoise and determine how closely it matched the only other tortoise ever discovered on Fernandina Island. Her discoverers gave her the nickname Fernanda. DNA testing has since established that she is connected to the island native Kelanoidus fantasticus tortoise species, Jackson's climbing salamander. First discovered in 1975 by Jeremy Jackson, Jackson's climbing salamander, Bolitoglossa jacksoni, also known as the Golden Wonder due to its bright yellow color, was thought to be extinct until Thomas Ramos Leon, a park guard at a newly created amphibian reserve in the Cuchumatanis mountain range, spotted the salamander. It was then confirmed by Carlos Vasquez, the curator of herpetology at the University of San Carlos in Guatemala, that the sighting was the Jackson's climbing salamander based on the pictures. This came after a fundeco, Foundation for Eco-Development and Conservation, Education Drive was conducted to help park rangers identify these elusive animals. The discovery of Jackson's climbing salamander on the reserve's outskirts prompted an expansion. The park also contains the Finca Chiblack salamander and the long-limbed salamander, both of which were rediscovered in 2014. The Jackson's climbing salamander is still critically endangered, despite being detected for the first time in 42 years. Santa Marta Sabri Wing the Santa Marta Sobrewing, Campylopterus phinopeplus, is an emerald green hummingbird that is endemic to the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta of northeastern Colombia. Jurgen Vega, an experienced bird watcher, unexpectedly spotted a male Santa Marta Sabrewing hummingbird in the mountains in 2010. This was only the second documented sighting of the critically endangered hummingbird since 1946, and the species was long thought to be lost to science. Very little is known about the Santa Marta saber wing. It lives in humid tropical forests and is thought to be migratory. They feed on flowering plants during the rainy season. Only about 15% of the forests in the Santa Marta mountains remain, and the Santa Marta saber wing was discovered in a forest with no protection. Experts are urging more research and protection for this endangered bird. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.